While doing a series on men's friendships, I want to talk about the role that women can play in helping normalize and champion and really just help encourage more men's friendships in our culture. Uh, the way we champion this is the way we champion really anybody, right? As we're kind of trying to get rid of old, dead stereotypes that no longer work for us. And as we acknowledge that friendship is not a gender issue, it's a human need. And so uh, I just kind of want to highlight a few specifics, though, that we can be more thoughtful, perhaps, around how we're talking about and acting in support of the friendships around of the men we know and love. Uh, the first way to do it, obviously, is to kind of catch our language, like stop talking about uh, friendship like it's a women's issue. Stop perpetuating that myth. Uh, we do this really sometimes without even noticing. Uh, we talk to little girls more about their friendships. Who are you playing with at school? We often ask more frequently than we do of the boys. Um, we do this a lot when we see certain movies or certain things in culture and we kind of act like that it's a, they're being like girls or something and we kind of have the joke around that and we just don't need to be doing that <laughs> at all anymore. It's, uh, it's, it's worn out, no longer is, I mean, we, there's so many stories around like men are problem solvers and women share their emotions and, and would we wanna say that women don't solve problems? No, and we wouldn't wanna say that men don't share their emotions. We know that to not be true. We want to start talking about these things as recognizing that we don't need to keep differentiating ourselves as, as much as we often have. As we step into a world where we are, are saying, hey, patriarchy, <laughs> women aren't nothing. We have, it's hurt men too, right? Because it's made them feel like they can't be anything like a girl. And so we really want to bring back and acknowledge that this is humanity. This is like human need stuff. So anything we can do to kind of catch our language um, to, to stop trying to stereotype this would be amazing. Uh, and then that leads to speaking highly of healthy men's friendships when we see it. So um, encouraging it, championing it. When we see it in the workplace, say, I love that friendship between you guys. I love how much you guys do together. I love how you cheer for each other. Uh, I wish more guys had friendships like you. When we see it in the news, when we see it on movies, uh, rather than make fun of it or treat it like, uh, you know, the bromance and stuff like that, that we kind of create this sense that you have to be like this best friends. And But let's just make sure that we're always saying, this is awesome, men should have friendship, of course. And, uh, and speaking as though it is already, <laughs> that it's normal, and that uh, there should be no shame, no embarrassment, no awkwardness, no having to make a huge to-do out of it. So anything we can do that kind of just helps us um, have those conversations, I think is really, really helpful. If we're closer to some of the men in our life, I think um, one of the other things that we can do is open up conversations about this subject. So um, with, our, with our spouses, with our brothers, you know, anybody that you feel like kind of more connected with, with your male friends, to be able to ask them um, questions about what, wish, what do you wish you could have more of from your friendships? Uh, are they feeling good? How do you think they've been impacted by culture? Uh, what do you think would contribute to them feeling better for you? Uh, anything that we can just kind of help the conversation happen. That's kind of the point of these videos. It's not like I'm the authority on men's friendships, but I want to just keep contributing to the conversation and helping all of us see, oh yeah, these are questions we can ask. These are things we can think through. And to be able to have that conversation with, our, with, the, with the men we love, to be able to open up that space and to say, yeah, that might feel weird. And some of our, some of our husbands, I hear from a lot of you like, oh, my husband doesn't want these kinds of friendships. And, and you know, explore that. That's worth exploring too. Why are his needs being met other places? What is he scared of something? Is it just because he's been told not to want something? Um, just, I think the more we can have these conversations and even if he concludes that he's doesn't want any friends, that's fine, but like have the conversation uh, and keep acknowledging that this isn't just something that because he's a man, it's that way. Uh, there's, it's, it's an individual thing, it's a temperament thing, it's a personality thing, but this is not just a man thing. So let's not lump, um, you know, my husband, he doesn't like this, so therefore all husbands don't like this. And let's kind of make sure that we're holding the space to still have those conversations. So I've highlighted so far not perpetuating the myth, 
of this being a women's issue, um, championing it, highlighting it. Those of you who are writers and bloggers and artists and filmmakers and all those amazing people who are out telling stories, let's highlight our men's friendships. The rest of us, we can just be affirming and encouraging. Uh, and just point it out when we see it and be happy we're seeing more of it, absolutely. And champion the TV shows and the other stories where it is being talked about and the New York Times articles where people are sharing more. So these are all fabulous things we can do. Um, the third thing is open up and have conversations with the men we do feel connected with, opening up those uh, those ways on Facebook, on social media, anything we can do that just kind of helps keep the conversation going, I think, and hearing their perspective, right? And being able to just hear what they need and what they're feeling is so super important. And then the fourth thing I think we can do, I guess four is this way, uh, the fourth thing that we can do that just pops into my mind is um, for those of us who have men in our lives that we can help put actions behind those conversations or we can support their friendships happening I think is really important to do we have a lot of uh, legend around girls night and girls trips and all these fabulous things which is great and what we want to really make sure that we're doing is carving out that same opportunity for the men in our lives to take so if you're the mother of a boy really being thoughtful about what can you do to really support him having friendships beyond the conversations which are super awesome and important. What can we do to, to invite him, his friends over to help support those friendships, to drive him where he needs to be, to help provide the opportunities, the, the summer camps, the events, and, and really trying to think through what can I be doing, not, to, not only from the focus of like for his college admission someday, uh, because he needs to be well-rounded, you know, we have a lot of other things, but really it's how can I make sure that he feels connected? What can I be doing to support him having friendships in these places and in these experiences? For those of us who are mothers married to a man, to be able to say, um, hey, what can we do to make sure that we both have opportunities to get out and be with our friends? And what, what night can I watch the kids and make sure that that's my night so that you can go do something? And who would you like to do that with? And, and if you're married to somebody who hasn't really done that much before, um, what would it look like to start that process? He might say, who would I hang out with? And that's a great question. <laughs> Have the conversation, who would you hang out with? If we deem our friendships important and good for our health, what can we do? It's like encouraging our spouses to go exercise and what can I do to support that? So who could you go invite to go do something? And um, is it awkward? Is it weird? Is it unfamiliar? Maybe, but certainly not a reason to not do it. So. So what can I do to help make carve out that time for you to get that need met in your life? Those of us who are managers of working, working with men, to be able to think through what can I do at the workplace to help encourage the friendships in my teams and with my employees and supporting the men in those bonding processes and in those conversations and those connections. So wherever we frequent, um, whatever our role, whatever our way of being of service here in this world. I hope that all of us are just thinking through how we can change our stories and our actions to remember. <laughs> Everybody needs friendship. This is not something that like the women own. We don't even necessarily do it better or have the higher need for it. Uh, it's a human hunger to be seen in a safe and satisfying way. and. Uh, I, for one, want that to be something that we all experience.